completely blown away. This AI workflow is recording like 60 voiceover cues in, well, let me check my watch. Yeah, record time. I'm Jeff, the radio DJ dude. And if you didn't see my first video on the Say Time plugin, well, come on, what's going on? You missed this epic event. Yo, I'm DJ dude on the mic, rapping about a software app you'll really like. TikTok now I get it, every intro after that one is just gonna be a complete letdown. During that deep dive on Radio DJ's Say Time plugin, I made you a promise that I'd reveal my cool automated AI workflow to generate a whole lot of custom time voiceovers using a super cool workflow that I've used in the past. Well, this video really focuses in on how to use it for creating custom time announcements. The beauty of this AI powered workflow, it's really perfect for anyone who's looking to crank out a whole lot of custom voiceovers in really lightning fast time. So, TikTok, let's go. We are on the air. For a wee bit of context, let me share with you how all this started. When I did that video on Radio DJ Say Time plugin, they provide some stock time announcements. It's 1.43. And come on, I could give two ticks about the time on my all 80s global powerhouse, triplex80s.com. Listeners all over the globe could care less about the time here in Los Angeles. So I had zero use for that plugin, but it did get me thinking, what other ways can we present the time? And for me, it made sense to concoct a minutes only version of the time. Hey, 80s lovers, it's 25 minutes after the hour. So that's how all this started. And I had to come up with a really quick way to turn out all those time announcements. Because if it was just gonna be me having to record, it's one minute after the hour. It's two minutes after the hour. Forget it's that. It would never end up on my ear. Because like I said, the time is such a low priority for me. But if I could turn this into a fun bit, which I think I did, then it's something that I'm more likely to consider putting on the air. And now, the most exciting moment of the hour. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Well, technically, it is a machine that tells time. Here's the time! Hey, 80s lovers. It's 22 minutes after the hour. Triple X 80s. Because our goal as internet broadcasters should always be to find ways to transform the mundane and expected into something unexpected, fun, and personality packed. There are three somewhat easy steps to this process. First, we're gonna create a Google Sheet. Then we're gonna jump over to make.com and craft an automated workflow. After our AI voices are recorded, we'll download them. And as a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to do some batch audio processing on those files. Wow, and how much are you paying for this? So right off the top, and I'm sorry, I hate to do this to you, but I've got some homework. If you have never really put this workflow through its paces, if you're new to what I'm about to share, then I have to direct you to the video that kind of started it all, my automated AI-powered weather report tutorial. All the nuts and bolts are revealed to using make.com to create these automated workflow scenarios. But to dodge another 48 minute video, well, you have to watch that one to really understand all the inner workings of how to create your own automated workflow. And fret not, I'm going to be standing right here patiently waiting for you when you get back. Actually, I'll take a sip of coffee. Take your time. Mm. Now that your brain is just bulging with knowledge, let's jump in to how to create your own automated AI powered workflow to generate custom time voiceovers. Over in Google Sheets, oh, I've got some good sheet going on. Check this spreadsheet out. 60 rows of what will become our voiceover script that we send to the bots with the mics in the sky. And I know what you're thinking, wow, it's a lot of text to type. Well, duh. Why would you want to type all that? Come on. We're all about, yep, hitting that easy button. Just to show you how easy this is, I will take on the task of redoing this sheet. So yeah, you do have to type. It's the top of the hour or however you want to identify that first time break. Now for the rest, if you know you're going to say it's as the first word, you type it's once. And you drag this baby all the way down 
maybe to 59, it's duplicated. So column B, you just put numbers, and then column C, you put minutes. So this is one minute, and the rest will be plural. And of course, we use our drag and copy trick. Now for numbers, if you try this with one, it's just gonna repeat one. So that doesn't do you any good. What you wanna do is populate two cells with numbers one, two, and then drag. Then Sheets gets what you're going for. So just like that, we've created our script. And the cool thing with this, once you have your quote unquote script sheet, it makes it so easy to try other voices. Maybe you have two or three different voices that announce your time throughout the day. And running this through our workflow, you'll see how simple it is to pull this off. This is time, V2, we'll call it. Okay, this looks good. To prevent any nasty surprises before you run this workflow, it's really important to jump over to 11 Labs, that's the site we're using for our AI voice generation, and test the script out before you commit to recording 60 voiceovers. You want to make sure the voice you've chosen reads this script properly, naturally, as you'd expect. It's 22 minutes after the hour. If you feel things don't sound right or you'd like a pause between certain words, try inserting a comma and then running the test. It's 22 minutes after the hour. In this case, I prefer it without the comma. Very powerful, very free, <laughs> very recommendable. This is make.com. We're going to build on one of those previous workflows and manipulate it to create scripts based on that spreadsheet to then send to 11 labs to record our voiceover. Let's jump into this time scenario and I'll give you a brief overview. Like I said, for the full nuts and bolts, the how-to, you have to watch my automated weather video. But for a quick overview, let's dive into what modules are being used for this scenario. You see here I have a Google Sheets module and this is where you add what they call apps to your workflow. So we see Google Sheets. It's not just one app called Google Sheets. No, look at this. There's a lot of actions, a lot of functionality that Make offers you. For this workflow, I'm using a trigger called Watch New Rows, as you see right here, okay? Before any of this works, you have to connect your Google account to Make.com. So you have to jump through those hoops first, and then you need to find your specific spreadsheet. For us, it's that time spreadsheet that I showed you. And I'm asking it just to search this range, cells A1 to D1. And when I'm kicking the tires on a new workflow, I always set a lower limit because I don't want to run 60 voiceovers and find out my settings were off. So I do a small batch in the beginning to make sure everything's running smoothly. Then you can bump this up, you know, to 60 later on. What this module is doing, it's watching for new rows in your Google Sheet. And if you've never run the workflow, every row will be new. It looks at the data in the spreadsheet. And then the next module is a Google Docs module, which is create a document. Once again, a lot of options in make.com. Right here is create a document. That's what we're using. Once again, your Google account has to be connected. This is where it gets really interesting. It allows you to create a custom name. For my radio DJ users, this is a huge time saver because ultimately that Say Time plugin is looking for a specific name format. It has to be for the minutes portion of the time, M-I-N, and then just the number. So what's this green box here? Well, and why, when I hover over it, does this pulsate? This is the real cool thing with make.com. So it will allow me to choose the first part of the name, but then the second part of the name is dynamic. It is pulling in the content from our Google Sheet. Now remember, we are quote unquote writing our script with this module. And this is where you construct your script. Let me blow this out. For content, I wanna take what's in column A, which is the word it's, that's how I start my script, then follow it by what's in column B, minutes, and then the word minutes, and then finish up with after the hour. So you see I'm building the script by ordering the information in the columns of this spreadsheet. So where do I want to put this new script? Well, uh, my drive, and then I created a new folder called Time Scripts. So after we create the script, we want to capture the text of that document and pass it along to 11 labs 
for the AI voices to record. We do that with the get content of a document module. So we're saying we want you to get the content of a document by mapping document ID. You see 10. Once again, that refers to this module right here. And you click here. You specifically want to use document ID. So you just drag this in to that box, document ID. Okay. This is a much deeper dive than I planned. So you're welcome. So now that we have the content of that document, you add the 11 labs. And why am I forcing 11 labs on you all the time? It's the one quality AI voice service that interfaces with make.com. And that's pretty freaking incredible that you could run these automated AI voiceover workflows in this fashion. So down here, you search 11 labs. Here it is. You add it to your scenario. Like with the Google modules, you have to connect your 11 labs account. You choose your voice and hopefully you've tested the voice to make sure it reads your scripts properly. And if you've made changes to the voice settings with a particular voice, you enter them here. So everything matches. And how does that script get passed to 11 labs? Well, right here in this box, text. We're saying, once again, observe the 12 and match it up to this module 12, that's the Google Doc we're getting the contents of. For you, it'll start as an empty box, and we want to get content of this document. And look down here, text content. It actually gives you a preview of the text. We drag this in. There we go, bingo, bango. Now we're in business. And for this last module, well, you pick your uploading poison. Either you're saving this by FTP to a drive on your station computer, or for this example, I'm sending the finished files to my Dropbox account. Yes, each module starts with connecting your own Dropbox account to make.com. I've created a folder in Radio Time called Radio Time Serena, which matches the voice we're using in 11 Labs. File, this is important, we're mapping. And once again, we have the flexibility to create a custom name. So to keep Radio DJ Say Time plugin happy, we're following the proper format minutes and then we're pulling the actual minute info from that first spreadsheet, column B, and it's MP3 file. But since we're mapping, it's very important, you have to fill out the data box with the right info. And that basically is data from the 11 labs module. You just pull that in, boom, boom, boom. And there you have it, our beautiful make.com workflow. So let's take this for a spin. So we're off. It's compiling data from our spreadsheet, creating voiceover scripts, setting those to be recorded by 11 labs, and then depositing our files over in Dropbox. Keep in mind for this test, I only ran six files. But to do six, it took just 45 seconds. Some quick math tells us to do 60 files, it takes about seven minutes. How long would it take you to individually record 60 files? So let's give these a listen. It's one minute after the hour. Okay, how about this one? It's five minutes after the hour. Now, after we create the 60 files, we still need to run them all through some audio processing because I want to make sure I get the fullest, most rich sound. So I'm going to normalize them and hit them with some compression. But not to worry, I have an automated workflow that'll do all that within Audacity. So it's using this radio processing macro and then applying it to files. And once again, lightning fast, it took under a minute to process those 60 files. Hey, 80s lovers. It's 26 minutes after the hour. Traffic. And if you want to bypass all this nonsense and just pick up some pre-made minutes only time files, well, I've got you taken care of. Head over to my shop. I have some nice male and female time voiceover files for you. Well, there's still that wow factor and the new robot smell <laughs> that you get from watching some of these time-saving processes. I mean, you really have to ground yourself in what it is doing. It is saving you literally hours of time. Because imagine having to go in a production room, let's say for the time, it's not just the minutes, but you're recording other you know, cues. I mean, that could be 75 different files that you're not only recording, but then you're doing your audio processing and then you're slicing and dicing. You're having to then export individual files, naming each of them. That's a multi-hour time suck. Where this, <laughs> in less than 10 minutes, whammo-bammo, you've got your life back. So never lose sight of that. 
Now, if you couldn't give two ticks about using this for the time, that's kind of where I am. Well, I'd love to hear about your grand plans on how you'd like to try this workflow out. Please let me know in the comments below. Oh, something else? Oh, hoo -hoo, it caused me to tingle and jingle. If your brain bulged just a little more from watching this video, well, I would so appreciate a like and a subscribe for you. Thank you so much. I am Jeff, the radio DJ dude, and until our next little radio rodeo, you keep rocking those mics all over the world.